Now check the ball joint for looseness. Use a floor jack and raise one tire at a time so the suspension is unloaded and the upper control arm is not touching the frame. Use a pry bar to check for vertical looseness between the ball joint stud and housing. Check for horizontal looseness by grabbing the tire and moving it in and out. Looseness can affect handling and tire wear, so suggest ball joint replacement. To inspect the ball joint on a McPherson strut suspension for radial looseness, lift the vehicle off the ground and move the tire in and out. Looseness can cause tire wear and handling problems. Check for axial looseness by using a pry bar to lift up the tire. If using a dial indicator to check axial and radial looseness, attach the dial indicator and measure axial looseness by using a pry bar to lift the weight off the unloaded tire and wheel assembly. Measure radial looseness by pushing in and pulling out on the bottom of the tire. Be sure the play is not in the wheel bearings. If either reading is out of specification, replace the ball joint. If within specs but loose, decide if replacement is necessary for tire wear and handling reasons. Now, inspect the follower ball joints with the suspension unloaded. Check horizontal looseness by grabbing each tire and pushing in and pulling out. Looseness can cause alignment or tire wear concerns replace if necessary. Manufacturers may allow some tolerance or play so check the OEM specifications manual. But remember, a technician's professional judgment should be used when suggesting ball joint replacement to solve a customer's problem and for correct alignment.